so slow they so, zoom. Because you have a red bandana, that makes you a red ninja. And because I have a blue bandana, it makes me a blue ninja. Uh -huh. Is it ever too early to wake up for powder, bro? Never. No. <laughs> you just set the alarm and we get up. <laughs> Easy. What's going on guys? So we came up this morning thinking it was going to be a really good powder day and then we kind of broke through the clouds and the trees are super green. It's too green. How are you guys feeling about today? Um, pretty unsure. <laughs> I'm hoping that the snow is hiding and we just haven't found it yet. <laughs> yeah, I think it'd still be good. There might be some snow up there. I think there might be like, I think it would be fun. Yeah. Reaction as they get up here, they're like, no! Oh, can you hold it? Yeah. I thought there was gonna be snow. There's gonna be snow. <laughs> Like yeah, and it like it's catching my heels and toes a little. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That was my powder shot. Dude, I don't think I've ever experienced a powder day like this. Yeah, this is really, really weird. We're only like less than a quarter of the way down and all of the tracks are still visible from yesterday. There's such a surface layer. Wow, it's so thick, the amount of crust. I'm ready to go in for some hot chocolate. Look, that's like all crust. That's a big crusty layer. Yo, good there, Bob. I can like barely set an edge. Just undressed, just took a little tumble. <laughs> and we're being mocked by the raven. Yeah, I know, it's hilarious. <laughs> a little bit of that movie magic and we'll make it look like it was a fantastic powder day. Is that what we're gonna do? <laughs> it was like Captain well, Crunch. expectations contained pretty quickly up here as we have found out. We went 
from thinking it might be one of the best powder days of the year, if you know, a little bit heavy, to realizing it's not. Yeah, I was expecting it to be heavy, but I was not expecting it to be crunchy. It's kind of frozen and crunchy. Brent, do you have any words to say, brother? It was sticky, it was crunchy, it was icy, but there was no pow. But yeah, happy you stayed on the groomer. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> Really quite a beautiful day with the sun coming out. Well, you know, what, what might happen is it might soften up and then just become loose. It might just be this hard right now. It might get better. Then again, it might not. If nothing else, it is a beauty up here. How to run, round two. Really gonna push the boots these times. Yeah, so second day on my Salomon Malamutes, trying them out. First day was also pretty heavy snow, but definitely not as heavy and as crusty and chunky as today. Yeah, first impressions putting them on, I'm super happy with them. The very first time I didn't have the tightness just right and I got some foot pain, but I've dialed that in for yesterday and today and they're feeling really good. Comfy, pretty easy to get on. They look kind of stylish. Just loving it, loving getting some new boots compared to the old noodles I was riding. Holy moly, these dudes have got so much more stability all up through the leg. Way better pressure transfer and actually quite good in this really nasty jangly snow because you can feel when your board's starting to get pulled around, you can resist. Because resistance is not futile in this world. Take that, Borg. Do a quick little... So, they do have this little bit here to stick in, which I don't really like this so much. I don't know, it kind of sticks up a bit. You got a lock. So they got a double lock tight, one on the bottom one, one on the top one. And then I love this because there's nothing else in the middle. You just pull on the yellow tag to loosen. The Velcro, it's like ultimate Velcro. That's how it gets away with it. The ultimate Velcro. Keeps everything else in. And then you just got the one tab. Makes it super easy to do that. Compared to the BOA, the lace system is a little bit more, but you gotta lock off so you can zone out the bottom area and I can see it's already getting frayed a tiny bit. And then you gotta lock off on the top, so. Yeah, sweet so far. Maybe the quality of the laces isn't the best, but. I changed the footbeds too, because the footbeds come with the ortholite, which is super uh, thin, but they don't have any, uh, they don't, have any, they don't have any support for the rest of your foot too, so I put my amazing foot supports in there. And now I'm feeling like a speed racer. All right, well, let's keep going. So Brent here at the bottom, it's not really at all good snow, but it's also very inconsistent. There's lots of bumps and jazz. Yeah. What's your approach to not eating it? Honestly, uh, it's still a pretty early season for me, so I'm, I'm trying to take it easy. There's also a new board I'm getting used to, so I'm just not trying to go too crazy. But yeah, it definitely handles well. For these conditions, it, it feels really nice under my feet. It feels really stable. Um, but I'm still just trying to be in control and not go too crazy today. All right, second day on the Malamutes. Still heavy, heavy, thick snow. So a lot of pressure. Let's go. Is this the limit of the mind expander? <laughs> My mind is literally exploding right now with that news. Like that shouldn't be that big, you know? <laughs> <laughs>
Everything just breaks up in huge chunks. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Look, we found all the ancient Eskimos uh, ice arrows. <laughs> they use these to hunt mastodons. Turn it, bro. <laughs>